There is an amazing process which God created called chemiluminescence. Chema, meaning chemically created. Luma is the Latin word for light, so chemically producing light. Now there are 40 different, totally disconnected creatures that are able to do that. We didn't discover how it works or what these chemicals were until the 1970s when a researcher discovered what those chemicals were. Now they're very common to us, they, we put them together in what we call light sticks. When we break these light sticks, all of a sudden, a bright light of a certain color comes out. Now, depending on the chemical variation, you might get blue light or green light or yellow light or orange light, whatever. Uh, this one happens to be green and it puts out a significant amount of light and lasts a long time. Now, many animals do this. Uh, the most common one we think of are fireflies. They're incredibly designed. It's not just the two chemicals. You've got to separate them and mix them when you want light. But with fireflies, oxygen provides the key catalyst. So fireflies live literally channel oxygen in and out of a layer of plates in, in their um, behind. And when oxygen hits, the light appears. When the oxygen is shut off, the light disappears. And they can flash it on and off like Morse code, signaling to a female who then signals back and then they can find each other. So there's three layers. There's an outside layer, which are like little thin glass plates to allow the light out. There's a middle layer where the chemicals are mixed to create the light. And there's a bottom layer that's like a mirror to reflect it outward and it all has to be there for it to work. And that's just one of these animals. I mean, there are plankton that can mix the chemicals together and create this beautiful eerie blue color when they crash up on a shore, the whole shore lights up in a blue color. There are mushrooms in the Amazon jungle that glow green. Now, now what's a plankton has to do with a mushroom that has to do with a firefly? It had to supposedly evolve 40 different times in different creatures. There's squid that are like a light show running across their back. Kind of my favorite is way deep down in the ocean, there is this fish called the angler fish and on its head is a light bulb. And when a little fish comes over to eat it, he goes, whoa and he'll eat the fish because he has a light to attract the fish. Four or 5,000 feet under the water where no light reaches him. Here's a fish with a light bulb in front of his mouth. Enormous amounts of programming would be needed to make the chemicals. And by the way, the researcher who discovered them, he got to name them. And he called the two chemicals that mix together and create light, luciferine and luciferess. The root word is lucifer. And in the Bible, Satan is called someone who disguises himself as the angel of light. And these chemicals produce light. One last thing that goes beyond even the complexity of it all. The chemiluminescence that God designed is about 90% efficient, producing almost no heat and almost all light. These light sticks are only about 30% efficient. So we can't even come close with all of our knowledge with the capabilities and abilities of what God has produced when he designed and created chemiluminescence as an indication of the reality that he's the one behind it all. It didn't just make itself.